What's up guys? Welcome back to DCS World and of course my continuing tutorial series for the A10C Warthog. So today what I want to do is take a few minutes to talk about the HOTAS functions of this aircraft. Now when I say HOTAS I'm not referring to the physical joystick and throttle you might have in front of you or indeed the keyboard or controller or whatever you're using to play DCS. I'm not talking about that, no. What I'm talking about is if you look down, you've got a stick, you've got a throttle in here, that's what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the actual hands-on throttle and stick functionality of this airplane, or HOTAS functionality for short. Now, there are a number of functions that you can do with the HOTAS switches and buttons and controls in this airplane. And in fact, for the most part, once you're in a combat situation, once you're in the area of operations and are fenced in, as it were, you want to be set up in such a way so that you do not have to ever at least in rare, unless in rare circumstances, you don't ever have to take your hands off the stick or off the throttle when you're actually in an operation area or an AO, okay? I'm going to flash on screen here a image, sort of an infographic, if you will, of the different HOTAS switches and the commands and what they do. Uh, you can either pause the video here to take a look at it. I'm also going to link to it in the video description. It's very helpful. It just very, very nicely and graphically demonstrates and shows what each HOTAS switch does, what each different command does based on the context, and all of that sort of thing. I'm going to go into a little bit of detail about the switches themselves, and in a future video, I'm going to go into a bit more detail about how these switches and controls can manipulate the systems and sensors of this airplane. So to get started, we have, let me just actually pause my camera. We have on the throttle, this is again in the real throttle, but it's a control you're gonna need to use. We have a, what's essentially a fingertip control stick. It's called the slew control. Now. What the slew control does is, let me zoom in on the HUD here. We're gonna use the HUD as an example right now. So you're looking at the HUD. You see that cursor moving around right there? Okay, that's the target designator cursor. Now I'm not gonna tell you more about that now. That'll come a little bit later. But just know that I'm moving this cursor around with the slew control, okay? The slew control is important because you're going to use it to move around things like this cursor on the HUD. Let me just get my camera back here. If we were looking at the TAD page, there's a cursor on the TAD page that we can move around with the slew control. Pause for a second so you can see it. And turn the map off, there we go. That little cross that's moving around is being moved around with the slew control. Okay. Similarly over here, if I come to my other screen, I have the targeting pod set up here. I'm moving the targeting pod around with the slew control. And that's basically what the slew control does. It is a joystick essentially that moves around your different sensors or manipulates them in some way that moves them around or slews them around. Okay. Next, we have the target management switch, the HOTAS TMS. Okay. Target management switch, as the name implies, is going to be used uh, primarily for target manipulation and target creation. More specifically, it's going to be the primary switch that you use to set a sensor point of interest. More on that in a future video. The TMS is a four-way hat switch that can go forward, aft, left, and right. And again, it's primarily for targeting, target manipulation, and some other auxiliary functions. We then also have the 
HOTAS DMS, or Data Management Switch. This is also a four-way hat that can go forward, aft, left, and right. And as the name implies again, it's primarily for manipulating some of the data that our sensors are generating. A uh, quick example is uh, if the HUD is our main sensor, and again, I'll talk about switching sensors in a different video, but uh, the DMS switch can be used to cycle through different waypoints. It can also be used to cycle through active weapons, things like that. It, it's manipulating the data that your sensor knows. We also have the Cooley switch on the HOTAS, okay? The HOTAS Cooley switch. And it's called the Cooley switch because on the real HOTAS, it looks like a Chinese coolie hat. So it's literally sometimes just called the coolie hat or the coolie switch. That's its actual official name is coolie switch. And primarily what that switch does is that is used to switch our active sensors. So I'm gonna pause my camera here looking straight ahead. I want you to take a look at my left and right MFDs. If I go coolie hat, and once again, this is also a four way switch. It can go forward, aft, left and right. If I go Cooley hat left, I'm cycling through the pages of this MFD. If I go Cooley hat right, and I just click it, I'm cycling through the pages of this MFD. You can also press and hold, and that's what's gonna select your sensor, make it your sensor of interest. All of these switches have short commands that is to say you can click it once and let go. So a short command with the Cooley switch is changing the pages. You can press and hold, and then that has a different function depending on what you're doing. So with the Cooley switch, press and hold, or as we like to refer to it as saying Cooley left long, or Cooley right long, or Cooley forward long, or Cooley aft long, etc. All of that applies to each of the switches, the, the TMS and DMS as well. The long press does something else, the short press does something else. So there's a lot of layered functionality with all of these switches. In addition, we also have the China hat. The China hat has two positions, forward and aft. It's basically a momentary switch in that regard. It's usually operated with your middle finger on the HOTAS. And what that switch is going to do is it's going to control some auxiliary functions with your sensors. So for example, with the targeting pod, pardon me, with the targeting pod, it zooms the targeting pod in goes from a wide to a narrow FOV, uh, doing a China hat aft, switches the sensor back to boresight, so it's it reset the position of the sensor. You can also press and hold China hat forward long, and then that commands a function known as slave all sensors to SPI, which I'm not going to go into uh, too much here, but that'll come in the next video when we talk about sensor of interest and sensor points of interest. We also have what's called the boat switch. Now on the real HOTAS, let me see if I can show it to you. It's that guy in the middle there, if you can see it moving around. It's got three positions, forward, aft, and center. The boat switch is uh, essentially a modifier switch that commands some different settings for your sensor. So if you look over at my targeting pod here, for example, boat switch aft puts it in FLIR mode with white hot. Boat switch forward puts it in FLIR mode with black hot. Boat switch center puts it in TV mode or CCD mode. I'll have a whole video on the targeting pod again, so don't worry about what that means just yet. Just know that the boat switch essentially changes some underlying settings with whatever sensor you might be dealing with. If it applies, the boat switch doesn't apply to all sensors. We also have the CMS switch or countermeasure switch, and that's actually located on 
the you can see it moving around there it's actually located on the stick and in a in a in a general sense the cms switch the countermeasure switch as the name implies controls your countermeasures and i'll have a whole video on the countermeasure systems and all of its all the related sensors and functions a bit later on that's all I have for now, guys. Just wanted to give a brief introduction to the HOTAS controls. You will be using these things a lot, so I uh, heavily encourage you to take some time. Take a look at the sheet that I'm going to link in the video description. Uh, consider this a bit of homework. I want you to read over this sheet and just get an idea of the different functions that the HOTAS commands actually do for the different switches. That's the TMS the DMS, the Cooley, the China Hat, the Boat, and the CMS. All right, guys, uh, until next time, take care, and I'll see you later.